Hello and welcome. Firstly, I wish to acknowledge the peoples of the Kulin Nation as the traditional owners of the land on which Wyndham is being built. We pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging and extend our respect to all Aboriginal people here today. The footprints of the Kulin Nation are found across the landscape of Wyndham. As Mayor of Wyndham City, I'm proud to officially be opening Pink, our latest art exhibition here at the Wyndham Art Gallery. This coincides with International Women's Day on the 8th of March. This year, while the Wyndham Art Gallery continues to be closed to the public to be COVID safe, we are bringing you this exhibition online. You get to explore the artwork and experience the exhibition at your own leisure through a video tour narrated by curator Caroline Espenshade and a digital exhibition catalogue with an essay by feminism and gender expert, Dr. Hannah McCain, from the comfort of your own home. Wyndham Art Gallery is building its reputation as a gallery that exhibits contemporary, emerging and thought-provoking exhibitions. I'm a passionate supporter of the arts and I'm proud that Wyndham Art Gallery seeks to reflect the diverse social and cultural identity of our community. Through art expression, people are brought together to explore, question, challenge, confront and test their beliefs and ideas. This fabulous all women exhibition explores the use of pink and other feminine motifs in creative practice and challenges the use of pink in the gender narrative, where the feminine and feminism collide. The featured works cover a range of mediums and approaches, including sculptures, prints and performances, each using pink as an element to strengthen their work, and not minimise it. So let's show our support and encourage family and friends to view the pink online exhibition and see all the artwork. Also, why not be part of our Go Deeper Artists in Conversation program that will explore the ideas and narratives of the colour pink, femininity and feminism. Enjoy pink. Welcome to Pink here at Wyndham Art Gallery. Presented in the lead up to International Women's Day, this show explores the use of pink and other feminine motifs in the creative practices of women. Once maligned for being girly and diminutive, pink is reclaimed and presented in hues ranging from hot pink to millennial with works exploring the social, biological, and performative intersections of the color and practice. Intended as a platform for dialogue, the exhibition explores where the combination of second wave feminism and neoliberal feminism has brought women artists today. Covering a range of mediums and styles, the pieces present a variety of creative practices and approaches to feminist narratives, each using pink as an element to strengthen their work, not minimize it. Pink features work by artists Anastasia Close, Tracy Lamb, Lola Mae Pink, Maja Mae Luis, Arvita Bystrom, Jesse Adams, Honey Long, Prue Stent, and is curated by Caroline Esbenshade. Entering the exhibition, we first encounter two works by Lola Mae Pink. A queer intersectional feminist, Lola Mae Pink uses their creative practice to reflect on how matriarchal experiences in womanhood impacts the sense of self through works that explore lived experience, personal narrative, and the intersections of gender and societal norms. Good Girl remarks on the experience of being a woman in a patriarchal society. In the form of a supplicant and emblazoned with the words, Good Girl, it's not a big leap to see this as a response to a nasty woman. Next, framed in neon, is We Share Our Mother's Health, part of a series of prints on matrilineal trauma inheritance. Each is made of a digitally manipulated collage of old family photos and images by Lola Mae Pink. Its imagery captures the familial and domestic experiences of women, but also speaks to the ongoing gaps in women's health. Around the corner, we have a collection of artifacts of a performance piece by Anastasia Close. A multidisciplinary artist, Close takes her personal experience of life, whether that be the state of being unwed, a woman artist, or an avid animal lover, and uses performance pop-up shops, dog parks, drawings, whatever means necessary to share it with audiences. In 2016, she turned her disgruntlement with the art world's attitudes towards non-male artists into Miss Spring 1883. In this rogue performance, Close engaged with visitors during the Spring 1883 art fair in the foyer of Melbourne's Windsor Hotel, costumed in a hot pink evening dress and with a sash inscribed, another totally broke female artist. Handing out info sheets and speaking to fairgoers and gallerists alike, she raised issues about the inequalities of representation in commercial galleries who were selling artwork out of the hotel suites above. You can view the handout from her performance in our web listing and within the exhibition catalog. Next, we see Tracy Lamb's The Eyes That Saw Her Were Closed. Lamb's practice is informed by an ongoing inquiry into mid-century design and architecture. 
Much of her art references or explores the stories of women in these fields whose work has been erased or marginalized from history by, or in favor of, their male counterparts. The Eyes That Saw Her Were Closed is a steel sculpture designed from line drawings by architect Marianne Mahoney Griffin. While accomplished in her field, she went unacknowledged, whereas her husband, whom she worked with collaboratively in an equal partnership, was recognized. The work is like a hot pink elephant in the room, jockeying for attention and long overdue recognition. You can also see a portion of Lamb's flawed plants, part of a larger installation work that pulled elements from blueprints by Irish architect Eileen Gray. Her contribution to architecture was long unrecognized, misattributed to a male contemporary who did nothing to correct the record. Coming into view as you ascend the stairs are two works by Honey Long and Prue Stent. Working together since 2010, their approach is emerging of photography and sculpture to create images that experiment with bodies, materials, and environments. The duo appropriate tropes and imagery of women acting as an erotic lure from contemporary culture and the canon of art history in a challenge to the male gaze and agency. In Scallop, the female form is obscured by drapery, resetting the object to agent, while Venus Milk is an evocation and fresh take on Botticelli's The Birth of Venus, painted in 1486. Here emerging from and draped in pink, it's important to note that Venus was not only the goddess of love and beauty, but also truth. To the left of their work, we see a grouping of photographs and a zine by Jesse Adams. Adams is an emerging photographer based in Melbourne, and in 2019, she undertook Soft Power, the Pink Project. This photo series documented a range of subjects who use pink as a form of self-expression, and for some, a method to display their queerness. The range of sitters and their personal use of the color pink in their lives and self-presentation show the range of interpretations and meanings of the color. Moving away from stereotypes of princesses and Barbie, Adam sitters utilize pink as a method of resistance. The three sitters featured here are garbed and surrounded in pink, reflecting a self-curated appearance based on their own personal preferences, not societal norms or expectations. And finally, a collaborative video work by Danish artist Maja Melilis and Swedish artist Arvida Bystrom, who both use pink in their individual practices. Lise uses her work as an exploration of modern day feminism, including its use as a marketing gimmick. Arvita Bystrom's work centers on femininities and the experience of being a digital native. High energy selfie admiration or selfie stick aerobics originally debuted as a performance work at Tate Modern in London. Here the video version is the epitome of millennialism, where femininity is embraced, everyone and everybody is beautiful, and selfies are an act of self-love, not vanity. Now, look into your selfie and say, I am beautiful and everyone around me is beautiful. I am beautiful and everyone... You can view the entirety of this video work by following the link in the description of this tour or in the listing of this exhibition. We encourage you to have a go at selfie admiration yourself and don't forget to tag your resulting pics with hashtag selfie stick aerobics. Thank you for watching this video tour. It's been a pleasure to lead you through pink. Hopefully, with COVID-19 restrictions depending, you'll be able to join us in the venue and view the work in person. To be kept up to date with openings and programs, we recommend you join our mailing list. In the meantime, while our doors are still closed, there is an exhibition catalog featuring an essay by Dr. Hannah McCann and a suite of public programming available. To learn more about these offerings and to access them, please visit the exhibition listing. Thank you and enjoy your day.